Hello and welcome to The Real Unreal. This is the third episode of the Health and Damage series, where we will learn how to create a new actor that heals by a certain amount when we overlap with it. Let's get started. Project Setup We will continue from where we left off in the previous video. Link in the description. Also, add the basic pickups VFX set to the project. Link in the description. In the Health and Damage directory, create a new Blueprint class and select Actor as the parent class. Name it BP underscore Health Pickup. The way this actor will work is that it will have one Niagara Particle System component to display the Health Pickup visual effect, one Box Collision component to detect overlaps with the pickup. When the character overlaps with the Box Collision, we will apply negative damage, which essentially is healing, and we will remove the pickup actor so it gets consumed. Open the health pickup blueprint and add these two components Niagara Particle System component. Set the Niagara System asset property to NS Pickup 3, which is a hard pickup VFX. Box collision. Set box extent to 40 in every axis, and in location, set 40 in C. This way, it will get aligned with the VFX. Now, make sure to have the box component selected, go to the event section, and add the on component begin overlap event. This time, we won't check if the actor that overlap has a health component. Instead, we are going to cast to third person character. This way only your character can actually use it. This is useful because if in the future we add enemies to our project, they won't be able to interact with it. If the cast is successful, execute the apply damage function and set the character as the damage actor. Convert the base damage parameter to a variable and call it healing amount. Compile and set a default value, which in my case will be 50. As I said before, if we want this value to heal instead of hurting the character, we need it to be negative. Negative damage is healing in our context. To achieve this, multiply the healing amount variable by minus 1 and use the result for the base damage parameter. Last, after calling apply damage, execute the destroy actor function so the pickup actor disappears after the healing is done. Compile, save, and add this new actor to the level. Before pressing play, we need a way to take some damage in order to check if the healing really works. You can use the burning ground created in the previous video. Just make sure the damage applied is appropriate. I will set it to 10. Now, press play, take some damage, and then go to the new pickup actor. As you can see, the character is being healed by 50 points. Before we go, an improvement that we could implement is to check that the current health of the character is not equal to the max health, so we only apply the healing if there is some health missing. For this, open the health pickup blueprint, make some room just before calling apply damage, and from the character, search for get BP health component. Then, from the health component, Search for get health and get max health. Check that health is less than max health and add a branch node. Only if this condition is true, continue and apply the healing. Compile, save and press play. 
go to the pickup actor without taking any damage and you will notice that nothing happens. So the validation works. And that's it for the third episode of the Health and Damage series. I hope you like it. If so, I invite you to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on social networks. I'll be uploading Unreal Engine 5 tutorials frequently, and right now, I'm working on an entire course for beginners. Thank you for joining, and hope to see you in the next video.